One more bite. Huh? It hurts to wear this. It's really tight. <laughs> Welcome to Tokyo, Japan. Today, we've come to the epicenter of all things bustling, busy, and yummy. Last time, I took on the $100 street food challenge in Korea's Myeongdong market, where they were selling cheese-covered lobster for $15. Oh yes, the cheese. Today, we're in Tokyo's Asakusa area. We're gonna see if I can spend $100 on Japanese street food in under one hour. I'll take down everything from sweet to savory and learn why the best food is almost always at the end of a long line. It's super popular. Obviously, this line is huge. So count your pennies and hit the streets. Today, we're eating big in Tokyo, Japan. Last time you said my whole body was covered, but it wasn't. Is my whole body covered? Okay, good. We've come to our first food destination. Right behind me, they have ice cream with gold on it. This is a great way to start. We're gonna knock out a big chunk of change. Let's go. Right here on display, they have, it says gold soft serve ice cream, 1,000 yen. Can I have one of these, please? Oh, the flavor. Evidently, you can choose gold and a flavor at the same time. Matcha, vanilla, sesame, marron. Is that melon? Is that supposed to be melon? I think strawberry and vanilla. I'll get this one. So she's got a little container of ice cream. She's gonna put it in this machine and then it squeezes out into this beautiful swirl. They have many sheets of gold and she is applying it directly to the cone. This is some of the most luxurious ice cream I've ever seen. Oh, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you. We have the most luxurious flavor of all the flavors, strawberry and vanilla. First bite of the day. Mmm. You can't taste the gold at all. It just completely dissolves in your mouth immediately. Oh, it's so thin. It just becomes nothing. It kind of disappears in your mouth. In Japan, you're not supposed to walk and eat food, apparently. You remain stationary while you eat it. We just got permission to shoot in this general area, and they're like, you can do whatever you want, do not walk and eat. Mm. It tastes like pretty standard ice cream. Strawberry, vanilla, delicious, sweet, but it happens to have gold on it. Very nice. What a fun place. We just went to this little dessert shop. It's a nice little counter. They have a man to the side. He is placing inside a type of batter and then bean and then more batter. They kind of press and cook this food. In this bag right now, still like steaming hot, you can see it's fogging up inside the bag. It's very warm. This is called nino yaki. But yaki just means maybe cooked inside of a griddle, like takoyaki, like the octopus one. Oh, and here it is. The first classic shape. And look, these are pressed in the special shapes. I think it's a building. Oh, thank you. <laughs> ah. We're gonna see the bean inside. It's gonna be a little bit sweet, I believe. Let's try it out. Oh, it is hot and sticky. Mmm, the outside is super bready, soft, and the inside it is just so full of bean. Steamy, sweet bean. This is a classic tasty treat. You will find this all over the place in Japan. It's a must try. Oh. Today we're kind of trying to stick to foods that you can find on the street, anything we can eat standing up. There's kind of a big variety, but all of them are like little snacky items, little cute things. And maybe it's a snack for me, but it's a whole meal for a family of four. Here, you, you never know for sure. Here we have the Ichigo Daifuku, a nice, beautiful pounded rice. Inside they put in some kind of a sauce and then a strawberry on top. They have three flavors. They have a custard, they have a green tea, a smooth, sweet red bean jam. Ooh, that's my jam. There's a lot of bean in this market. Can I order one of these? Thank you. Wow. Here's our lineup for today. Red bean with a strawberry on top, custard, green tea. I'm gonna take out the straw, oh. I'm gonna just, mm, good? Cheers. All right. 
Mmm. I see. Mm. There's a lot of students in this area. The outside has kind of a cornstarch on it. And then there's this thick layer of this soft pounded rice cake inside right there. And then the powder stays on your face, so it looks like you did a bunch of coke. Mmm, super dense cake, but the custard is sweet and awesome. Hold on, let's see if I can find someone else to eat with me. This is May, she's helping us today, um, finding all these fun locations. You're going red bean, I'm gonna go green tea. Look at all that beaniness inside. Let's try it out. Bean, bean. They have mixed green tea and bean. The tea is making the bean green. Now that is just a bean. That's a smooth bean jam. Is that your jam? My jam. Okay, nice. here, and I mean, you can just read the name for yourself, it's right there. It's basically kind of a pancake sandwich, and they put different assorted items between two tiny pancakes. Mashed sweet bean paste. Sweet bean past butter, it's not future butter, it says rare, rare cheesecake. It's not like a rare cheese, it's like... Well, how rare is it? <laughs> it's, it's more like a melted creamy cheese. Okay, I'll take one strawberry rare cheesecake. Okay. Right here we have our pancakes warming up. First ingredient, some kind of cream cheese. Wow, so he's making like a snowball of strawberry paste with a strawberry inside. That looks really good. A rare cream cheese base. Putting on the pancake hat, squish it down. Now that actually looks very nice. Mmm, I love the creamy cheesiness. But seriously, I think this red part also has bean in it. Is the red part with bean? They love bean here. Man, beans for dessert, who knew? Right now we are in line at this place, Asakusa Menchi. It's super popular, obviously this line is huge, but they're moving pretty quick, and I think every time they finish an order, people just buzz through the line like crazy fast. So like, I'm gonna get my money out. 250 for one, I'm just gonna get four. Okay, here we go, we're in line. Hi, uh, four, please. Thank you. thank you. One, two, three, four. Okay, so fast. Uh, I'm out of here. All right, thank you. I got four. What a treat. Is it good? Oishi? Yeah, nice. Check it out. Whoa. Let's just jump into it. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> that is a beauty. Check it out. You can see the steam pouring off of it. This minced meat in here, a ton of onion flavor coming through. It's a bit savory, nice and crispy on the outside. The inside, moist and juicy. Mmm. Number one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. The steam pouring out. The juicy meat, it's so greasy. The grease of the meat inside just like coats your lips. Okay, last bite. Mm. 10 out of 10. Finish chewing, swallow, now walk. We've come to our next street food destination and finally something a little bit more savory. They have a few different kinds, a couple that are really popular. Can I pick it up? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's gonna, oh, thank you. I think I just ordered this on accident. I'm gonna also get one of these. Please. Oh, so she's making it fresh and she dips it into kind of a sweet sauce. Okay, perfect. We have dinner, we have dessert in a way. The pounded rice with some soy sauce on top, some seaweed on top of that. Let's try it out. Oh, whoa. Mmm. It is like so thick. It's not solid, but it's very thick and gummy. Mmm, it tastes good. It's just some funky, interesting flavors, but super salty, savory, soy saucy flavor. Bam, dessert. I suspect that inside of here, there might be some more red bean. Let's find out. <laughs> what? What? Sweet on the outside, but it's kind of a tangy, savory sweetness. Is that also made from... There's something inside of there. Nobody warned me about what was inside. Let me see if I can show you. Oh my God, I knew it, it's bean. People here love bean. They got me on that one, that was sneaky. We've had a lot of bean today. I'm probably gonna pay for it later, or whoever's around me. If you wanna go anywhere good, you're gonna have to wait in line. There's like 50 people behind me. We've got some melon pan, pan, melon pan. Konnichiwa. Uh, one with, 
Yeah. Oh, it's already whipped, just like that. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. First thing we're gonna do, an epic whipped cream reveal. Let's look inside this bad boy. It is bursting. Wait, huh? Did they, what? What is that? What happened to the back of the bun? That's like, imagine if you got a hamburger and they only put meat in the front and the back was like, ah, right, well, good luck. At least half of this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna find out right now. Mmm. All the flavors of Japan. No melon flavor whatsoever. Wonderful, crispy, crunchy kind of texture. It's a bit caramelized too. I believe they put something kind of sweet on top. Mmm. Creamy, soft, doughy bread on the inside, but really the best part is how crispy all these edges are. You can even like use it like a chips and salsa. Oh, the best part by far. Uh, do we spend a hundred bucks yet? Oh, not yet. All right, let's keep going. After I'm done eating. No walking and eating, guys. Here, right next to the market. Hello, sir. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Right here, we just saw him make this awesome dessert and they make it into a katana. It's called katana okoshi. Have you ever had a katana as a serving size? One katana, please. We have this dessert he just made. This is basically a puffed rice and then he just dumped a bunch of molasses, I believe, on top, mixed it all up. He flattened it out into a perfect rectangle. He cut piece by piece, perfectly measuring each one so they're all the same length, thick, density. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oishi. Oishi. <laughs> Wonderful texture. A little sweet, but not over sweet. But I want a katana. Mmm. One katana. We have a whole katana of food right here. We have a handle made out of a box. The katana goes inside. I think I saw him lose respect for me when I was like, I must have it in katana form. He was like, oh, dude, you too, man. All right, we have a whole katana of food. Let's try it out. Oh, super crunchy. But same yummy kind of toasted, caramelized flavor on there. Sweet, not too sweet, but man, this is the type of sword I could fall on any day of the week. Don't walk. We've come here, I'm excited. Konnichiwa. I'm really good. On a little skewer, she says it has soy sauce and sugar on it. Yeah, can I have five? We are here right now with our rice cracker with two authentically dressed people. Where are you from? Australia. Right now is the time. We're just gonna go for it, I guess. Oh, mm. I know what this is. I think it's like, um. Something to do with mochi and meat, and it's like baked on a stick. It's really good though. I'm not authentic, so don't trust me. Wait, you're authentic something. Authentic human. But I'm not authentic Japanese. Why would anyone assume that you're authentic Japanese? Oh, is it because of how you're dressed? Mm -hmm. That's right. It is super crispy on the outside. Inside, it's a little gummy, and it's like they've soaked the mochi, this little rice cake, in soy sauce, I think, before even grilling it. So it has a strong kind of sweet, sticky, salty soy sauce flavor to it. Would you agree with all of that? Yes. Great, you guys are doing great. One more bite. Huh? It hurts to wear this, it's really tight. <laughs> <laughs> Never put on a corset and then go on a food binge. It just does not work at all. Guys, what a day it's been. A day full of sweets, snacks, and plenty of street food here in this one particular area of Tokyo. I learned a lot today. One, Tokyo, at least in this particular area, doesn't have a huge, robust diversity of street food. Everything we found today was kind of snacky, desserty, like little one-biter, two-biter things. Secondly, we went from some things that were almost like 10 bucks to some things that were like almost $1. So good price range there. A lot of stuff you can try out. If you want your food to be a little cheaper, don't put gold on it. For you guys, if you are planning to go to Vietnam, I highly recommend a company called OneTrip. OneTrip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about OneTrip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A <gasps> Peace. Uh... <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you.